some of the extra fringe benefits of seeking the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are the side benefits? We will take a look at Surah Nuh, where Nuh alayhi salam tells his people quite clearly, seek the forgiveness of Allah. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا I said to my people, Nuh alayhi salam is telling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what he told his people. He says, I told my people, seek the forgiveness of Allah, for indeed he is oft forgiving. He is most forgiving. The term ghafoor is not used. Ghafoor means the one who is forgiving. But ghaffar means one who constantly forgives. Subhanallah. Look at the amount of hope. One who constantly forgives. Ghaffar. Innahu kana ghaffaran. Allah is one who constantly forgives. This is what Nuh alayhi salam says to his people. What will Allah do in return for you seeking forgiveness from him? So the verses continue. Yursili samaa alaykum midarara. He will grant you beneficial rain from the skies. That which will be of the correct amount. That which will not be more that it causes flood. Not less that it causes drought. But the correct amount in the correct place so that it benefits you. That's Allah's gift. So Allah will improve your condition your food, Allah will improve your drink and so on. Allah will grant you. Through what? Through his mercy. And you having sought forgiveness from him. Allahu Akbar. On top of that, he says through that istighfar, through asking Allah's forgiveness constantly, he will grant you sustenance, wealth. The term amwal is used. How many of us are struggling? A lot of us struggle because the economy is dropping. People are in debt. People have so much in terms of financial responsibility. And we are turning to all sorts of means, not realizing that wallahi, you ask Allah's forgiveness. Constantly ask Allah's forgiveness. Constantly repent to Allah. Ask Allah to forgive the sins you have committed knowingly. Those who, that you have committed unknowingly. And watch after a period of time, your doors open one after the other. Allah will give you the wealth that he owns because he is the owner of the wealth. Allah will sustain you. He will grant you what he knows is best for you because he is the owner. I promise you the door to that sustenance is through asking Allah's forgiveness. It is through the owner of sustenance. How can we knock on a door besides the door of sustenance and expect sustenance in return? How can we knock on the door besides the door of the owner of sustenance and expect sustenance in return? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. May he alleviate the suffering of those who are in debt. May he help them pay back their debts. And may he grant us all such that we will be able to fulfill our financial obligations and we will be able to worship Allah through our wealth as well.